We are back with our last and final episode, episode four of the holiday special, and we're going to be making holiday loaf. a vegetarian meatloaf with a sweet ketchup sauce on top. It's delicious and it's easy and I really want you to try it. This is a great alternative for any vegetarians you may have at your dinner and it's super simple. It's a crowd pleaser. Even the meat eaters love it. So let's get started. First thing we're going to do is add half a stick of butter. I don't like using margarine because margarine is man-made butter is not and it's tastier so put that in the pot and we're just gonna go ahead and let that melt and after that we're gonna add some onions and let that saute even though the butter isn't melted completely I'm gonna go ahead and add the onions into saute this is half an onion chopped up the onions are starting to become transparent so I'm gonna go ahead and add some other seasonings here I have some rubbed sage and I also have some rosemary these are usually used in seasoning meats and when you're cooking a vegetarian meat or meat analog whatever you would like to call it you want to use the seasonings you would use to season your regular meat like your chicken your fish your beef because that's going to help give you a much tastier dish so i'm going to go ahead and add this in now once the onions are soft i'm going to go ahead and add some bread to the butter and let it soak up the butter and the seasonings this is six slices of bread cubed up and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to be pressing the bread into the butter so it can absorb the butter and the seasonings. And this is wheat bread but it's like your cheap store brand wheat bread. It's not your hearty kind. You want to use a cheap kind. It's going to be able to blend up into the meatloaf better than a hearty wheat bread. I mashed up the bread into the butter so it can absorb all the butter and the seasonings and the goodness. So let's take a look to see what it looks like. You can see that it's all absorbed and ready to go. And we're going to add this to our meatloaf in one of our next steps. What are you going to use in a vegetarian meatloaf? Well, what we'll be using today is vegetarian burger by the Worthington brand. There are a lot of other veggie burgers that you can use. Um, I like this one in particular for the holiday loaf. Another one that you can try using is the Morningstar Grillers Crumbles, but you should also take note that they have two flavors. You have the original flavor, which I prefer, and then you have a sausage flavor. Another great one that you can use is by Gimme Lean. Now they also have your beef uh, style and your sausage style. Beef would be recommended for the holiday loaf. So I'm just going to go ahead and get this. This is how it looks. Go ahead and get this into the bowl. You can see some little crumbles in here. Get that all out the can. And I'm just going to go ahead and mash this up. It doesn't take much because it's pretty soft. Now, in this bowl I have some tofu, some firm tofu that I've crumbled up. So if you're not familiar with tofu, tofu comes in different consistencies. You can get soft, firm, extra firm. When I'm cooking something such as the vegan macaroni and cheese, I use the firm. When I'm cooking something such as scrambled tofu, a recipe which I hope to share with you soon, I use extra firm. So there are many different things and uses for tofu. It has a bland flavor and it takes on whatever you season it with. It can, I've had some bad tofu, but I've really had some really good tofu too tofu as well. So, you know, give it a try and soon I'm going to be sharing a recipe with you. 
So as I was saying before, I have half a block of tofu mashed and I'm gonna add this to the veggie burger. And the reason that I am adding this to the veggie burger is basically just to stretch it out some. The veggie burger can tend to be a little bit of a little bit expensive, so just to stretch it out and feed more people, I add some tofu to it. Go ahead and add our bread, our seasoned bread with butter to the mix. Add that all in there. Mix that all up together. I have two eggs in this bowl that have been beaten. And to the beaten eggs, I'm gonna add some seasonings. I'm adding some more sage, more rosemary, about two teaspoons of Lowry's and a teaspoon of granulated garlic. Add that to my egg mixture and beat that all up. all from the sides, you want all your seasonings in there now. And I'm going to go ahead and add this to our mix. I have some yummy goodness. This is green seasoning, or I would say my version of green seasoning. I have one clove of garlic, I have one twig of spring onion, if that's what you call it, and I have about a cup of cilantro, all blended up with a little bit of water, and this is gonna give a very nice flavor to our holiday loaf. Like I was saying before, when you're cooking a vegetarian meat, you want to season it like you're seasoning a meat, right? And so in Trinidad and Tobago, when we are cooking meats, after we clean the meat, we usually would season the meat with some green seasoning and I love the smell, I love the flavor. And I'm gonna go ahead and add about a fourth cup of green seasoning to our mix. And we're just gonna go ahead and mix that yumminess all together. It just looks like it wants some more green seasoning. It's begging me to add some more. So I'm gonna go ahead and add the rest of that for and that's about a fourth cup, so we can say that I added about a, a half a cup of green seasoning, and I'm gonna mix that all up, and we're just gonna put that into our baking dish. Bake at 350 for one hour. Weird, but I really don't like getting my hands dirty. I know it sounds really weird. How can a cook not like getting her hands dirty? But I don't like the feeling. So I'm gonna grease the bowl just lightly. And I just wanted to share this tip with you. If you're greasing your dish or your tins, your baking pans, whatever, you can just use a pastry brush and brush it on. And that goes really quickly. And you keep your hands clean and you're not wasting any oil in a paper towel or anything like that, all right? So I got that done. And now I'm just gonna go ahead and put my meat mixture in I'm gonna put the meat mixture into this baking dish that has been greased. And I'm going to spread it evenly into the dish. All right, so our holiday loaf is all ready to be baked. Like I told you before, we're gonna go ahead and bake this at 350 for one hour. And we're not gonna cover it just like this. It's gonna go in and it's gonna be just fine. It's gonna come out great. And we're gonna to top it with a sweet sauce and it's going to be absolutely delicious. I can't wait. Well, we're back and our holiday loaf is ready for the sauce. The sauce we're gonna use is very simple. In here, I have 3 4th cup of ketchup and 3 4th cup of white sugar. You just mix that all up. You don't need to heat it or anything, and you just pour it right on top of the loaf and bake for 15 more minutes on 350. A nice twist that you could also add to this is add a dash of cayenne pepper to kind of spice it up a little bit. Right now, I'm just going to go ahead and pour it on. is put this back in the oven for 15 minutes and then it'll be ready to serve. The holiday loaf
meatloaf is ready and I am ready to dig in. Mm hmm Very good. This nice red sauce on top sets it off wonderfully. The savory loaf with a nice sweet sauce on top. You don't want to put too much, just the right amount because you don't want the sweet to overpower the loaf. This mac and cheese, the vegan mac and cheese, goes wonderfully with the holiday loaf. I love them together. And when you just put some Louisiana style hot sauce on this mac and cheese, woo, it is good. So you know I want you to try this recipe. So go to my blog, get the recipes, follow me on Twitter for other updates. I post other things on Twitter that I don't always post on my blog. And make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos and more updates. Thanks for watching and see you soon. Um, who can be good, I assure you, and soon enough, get the recipe, follow me on Twitter, and make sure that she's a pro. Very good.